Hello folks, welcome to Barely Making It, and today we are going to be making the ooze canister from the old school Ninja Turtles movie. And we're going to be using this life water bottle, these two 3D printed parts, and a few other cool things. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the label. I thought about using a heat gun, but that's going to warp the bottle. So we're just going to peel it off and then use a little bit of goo gun to clean up the sticker residue. Go, it's not so bad. Forget goo gun. Let's try alcohol first before we even take the goo gun risk with uh, the glue here. Because I really don't want to discolor the bottle. I really want it to be nice and transparent. It's doing a pretty good job getting this glue off. You can kind of watch it dissolving there. I'm gonna dump the water afterwards because I want this bottle to be firm. So it's easy to work with and it's not bending in and out and I'm not damaging the bottle as I'm cleaning it. All right, I'm gonna get this cleaned up the rest of the way and then we're gonna move on to the next step. All right guys, we have the bottle all cleaned up as you can see here. All the residue has been removed. Now you see a couple more things that are in the picture now. So, I have the slime. I actually picked this slime up from Walgreens. Only cost four bucks for a six pack here. Three print of these. So the slime is going to go into here after I dump the water out. And we're going to make sure the slime has a nice glow using this black light flashlight. Check that out. So this black light flashlight is on Amazon. And if I remember correctly, it was $7. It wasn't expensive. It takes three AA batteries. I'm gonna be actually gutting the parts out of this light right here and put it at the base of this right here so it just shines through. The bottle doesn't quite fit in here, so I came up with a way to kind of get around that. All right, guys, I'm thinking I'm gonna use uh, two parts of a bottle I already have, put that inside of here first, but we're gonna work this out through the video and I'm hoping well, I should say hoping. I know the results are going to come out great. So let's go ahead and hop right into that, folks. Okay, so next thing I want to do is I want to sand these really well. So they can be ready for primer filler and paint. All right, folks, so next, I'm going to use 400 grit sandpaper. We have right here to go ahead and start sanding this down for smooth, so that it's smooth and ready for our primer filler so we can paint it. And I'm gonna use a four, I'm using 400 grit sandpaper. I'm gonna go over it dry first. Then I'm gonna do some wet sanding. So I wanna get some of this rough stuff off. Okay, I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. To get rid of some of these deeper grooves, I'm gonna use some 80 grit sandpaper on a Dremel and try to knock these out and see how that goes. Safety glasses. Both of these are dry, sanded, and ready for paint, primer, sealer. All right, let's go do it. All right, guys, while the paint is drying on those, on the cats, I'm gonna, I'm trying to get this in here as neat and even as possible so I can get it as neat and even cut as I can get. I'm gonna put this in here. I'm just gonna use the X-Acto knife to try to cut around it. Let me clamp this. Okay. Uh, it's starting to warp a little bit, come on. Kind of what the cut came out like a little jagged so let's see if i can get this see how good my eye is okay that's how we're looking right now for the tube let me get some sandpaper and try to get this looking a little bit better so 
I'm gonna grab some scissors. We can get this a bit more even. I think that looks pretty good, right? Now these are strips that I cut to cover up the, the slots. You guys remember the two, the, the caps have slots. I'm gonna use these to cover them. All right, folks, both of these are sprayed. Now, with metallic paint. I'll set these to the side. And what I wanna start doing is measuring these right here and cutting them out to seal these holes. Okay. All right, folks, we are golden. I have all these little plastic slots cut. I'm gonna go and start gluing them in right now. That's gonna cover these little holes right here. That way I can just adhere this directly to the top of the tube because it, it, it won't fit in there perfectly. It's like just off by a little bit. So we're gonna be using some glue. All right, let's go ahead and get to that. surface like that the jaw is a good working time I don't like it doesn't dry too fast you know All right, that one is done. All the little holes are sealed. Excellent. I'm gonna go ahead and let that dry. And while that is drying, we're gonna move on over to the electrical piece. So, I wanna break down this flashlight, this UV light, where it can be at the base of it. Part of me thinks I should have picked up two of these, especially because it wasn't that expensive, but can't cut off a spilled milk, you know? Snip this off so it can lay a little flatter. So this is gonna get snipped. There you go. I'm gonna do a quick test using a bench power supply. You know what? I really don't like this cylindrical power little power pack, so I'm gonna go in and grab a flat one. Be right back. All right, I'm gonna go with this. <coughs> I was gonna use this. Forget that. I'm gonna use this instead. I don't know, I just really like these switches, man. I was like, oh, I want something that's flat and profile, but I just love these switches too much, man. Just give a real, like, um, how do you say, industrial feel. You clicking them. Click, click, click. All right. Um, I'm going to get some solder on all these first. So just a little bit. You can see how that is done right there. I was wired up. All right, it's already there. Listen to that click, I love it. My jam, okay. That's all wired up now. All right, these should be dry. Let me use this little bag. That's some filament came in. To help protect this. So this is gonna go into here. I'm gonna seal it back up. 
But first, but wait, there's more. This and that. Here we go. I'm drill a hole right there. This is gonna go into here. There we go. Get that pull through there. Have this here. And my biggest concern with this, when I put it on here, is the weight of the slime and it, when it knock if it knocks the tube off. Alright, but because there's a strip on the tube, when I do finish it, you know, with the ladders, uh, T C G R I or T G R I remember but I'm gonna use these matchsticks as supports. And where these are, I don't know that's where I'm gonna be putting the um the logo. Use some Instaset. And there's a lot of the insta set left inside the tube I need to draw all right I think I've gotten most of it if not all of it I'm just gonna go super glue insta set super glue insta sets So at this point, lift this up just a notch. I want to start mixing the slime to go into here. See if I have to remove any of the slime for the light to shine through properly. Put this on here just to kind of. Alright friends, now I'm going to tape this off for the logo. So I have a nice clean line. A little bit of that.
Okay. Now I have this printed out. The lettering. I'm gonna use a little bit of vinyl to cut them out properly. Clean cut. We have the letters in place. I'm gonna be doing some dry brushing anyway with black to make this look a little more, um, how do you say, aged. Let's go ahead and do that step and then we'll light her up. See how that looks? And then I wanna use a little bit of styrofoam to actually make a, a little mount for it. So it's gonna hop into the dry brushing right now. Alright guys, I ran down and I sprayed just a little bit of black spray paint on this with a little bit of gold. Did this and this one. Oh yeah. Alright. That's not that's not so bad for something something I did so quickly. Hmm. Alright. Alright guys. Here it is, the final product. This concludes the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ooze Canister Build. Guys, let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. If you like videos like this, I'm going to do a lot more videos like this with builds in the future. Um, that is it, guys. Please like, subscribe, and share. And as always, have a great day.